Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hello and welcome. And if you are back, welcome back. Today, I'm here with an unboxing from Distracted by Diamonds and Patty Wax. They're the same storefront on Etsy. They had a new release in their diamond painting kits that I couldn't resist picking up, and I'll tell you all about why in just a moment. But I also went ahead and picked up some Patty Wax while I, while I was there because I do like to use that in my diamond painting pens. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. So they ship in these really pretty ombre poly mailers. And if you order a kit uh, and you also order patty wax, they can usually ship it in the same poly mailer, which is great. So it looks like she included, is this a little freebie? So I did not order this, but that was super sweet of her if she did. Uh, so the owners are Robin and Ben and uh they are super super sweet and they have a really nice variety of legally licensed um, diamond painting kits including some old masters if you like that genre of artwork and uh they have a really nice selection of artists in their in their licensing group as well so that's that's really cool so uh yes yeah, so it does say as a gift for you she included a cute little um keychain set oh little eiffel towers that's so fun uh so they've got all the keychain attachments and they'll have the diamonds in each of these different um eiffel tower uh little little things that you can diamond paint on i think they're double-sided as well i'm not going to get all the way into this just right now because i really want to get into the kit and everything but thank you so much robin and ben that was really sweet of you to include now this I'm guessing has my patty wax in it. Let's take a look. So like I mentioned, Distracted by Diamonds and Patty Wax are the same storefront on Etsy and they have diamond painting kits kind of under the brand Distracted by Diamonds. And then they have a really fun variety of diamond painting accessories kind of on the, under the umbrella of Patty Wax. But like I said, they're at the same storefront. Uh, so we have some freebies, fizzy cola. <laughs> And then this is Marshmallow Fireside Scented Patty Wax. I have a video, it's a bit older now, but I'll still link to it uh, about how to use patty wax, like how to load up your pen. I just scrape along the back. Um, and I just thought this one was so fun. I love marshmallow kind of base scents. And so I was intrigued by this one. Ooh, okay, that smells really good. Just a hint of kind of that smokiness to it as well. I like to use patty wax in my single placer. You can use it in your multi-placer, but um, I sometimes struggle with that a little bit. Let's take a look. Let me see. It's been a little while since I've ordered from patty wax, actually. So a little thank you note from Robin and Ben. And then some cute stickers included. Thank you. It looks like they included some more freebies. Aw. So they sell specialty diamonds. And I'm guessing, look, basing on the colors, I wonder if these will go with this particular kit. So Sassy Glass, Crystal ABs, Sassy Glass, oh my gosh. That is so sweet. Thank you, Robin and Ben. I will definitely have to take a look and see if these are ones that could go with this kit. The color palette looks right. I do know that with this particular kit, there also was an option listed on her shop for a set of special drill swaps that you could order. I didn't order that myself with this one, um, but I like that there's that option. She tells you what you could swap it for. So, oh yeah, here we go, you guys. So, drill substitutions for, yes, spoiler alert, Snapdragon Sprite is the name of the kit I'll be unboxing. So she does, she lists it all out for you, things you can swap it for. Oh, and she even says exactly where. Nice, I love this, you guys. I am not someone that feels like doing special drill swaps or enhancements comes naturally to me. So if someone else wants to map it out for me, I'm all about it. I'm honestly all about it. So here's the kit we're going to be looking at today. Snapdragon Sprite. It's by the artist Mitzi Satowuf. I am so sorry. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. This one comes with round diamonds, 52 by 78 centimeters. And how adorable is this artwork? I can't there's baby dragon, there's snapdragons, and look, here's the thing. I have a really sentimental attachment and association with snapdragons because those were my favorite flower growing up, like as a kid, and so everything about this kit called to me. Now, the branding that they have in their boxes are really, really pretty, so sparkly, that purple and orange ombre kind of vibe. We have some instructions written on the back. I have a beginner video I'll have linked as well. We have some branding, Distracted by Diamonds there. But let's get into this kit. I wanna see this canvas. So uh, Distracted by Diamonds and Paddywax are also sponsoring Summer with the Masters, which 
as in the time of this video is currently ongoing and so i also love the idea of of supporting one of our sponsors during during the event and i may actually work on this kit this month like during during the event even though it's not an old masters kit uh, i often have more than one kit going at a time especially when there are events going on when i want a little a little break so we have our canvas and i hear something else in there okay so there was a loose pen and then everything else is in this plastic plastic bag let's take a look Right, so oh look at those happy colors already oh my gosh oh all those pinks and aquas some of my favorite colors too now distracted by diamonds has a few kits actually by this artist in their shop and I've been tempted by one or two of them before but this is the one that really did it for me that is so sweet and so cute I can't get over it oh my goodness okay so we do have included so we have the loose pen like I mentioned and then this actually you guys is a tray and inside is a roll of washi tape I have a video on how you can use washi tape with your diamond painting and then a, a thing of pink heart wax so be sure, by the way, that you peel off that thin plastic film before you try to load up your pen. Uh, otherwise, it's not going to work. <laughs> so let's see what all is included here. We have, well, here's our diamonds. Gorgeous color palette. We'll look at those more closely in just a bit. Show you what else is included. I think this is a sheet of release paper, but probably only one-sided if I had to guess. Uh, and then here we have, it looks like that just didn't get cut cleanly. Not a huge deal. Yeah, okay, hold on. No, I'm just gonna leave it. It's fine. Okay, so here we've got, this is actually a large sticker sheet. We have the original artwork you can see. It's so cute. I just, I can't. I'm a sucker for cute things. Uh, and then we have some info about the artist. It's copyright, this copyright symbol here means that this piece is legally licensed. All of the artwork at Distracted by Diamonds, which you can pause and read about their values and their mission here, which I actually really, really admire and love about them. Uh, but this is legally licensed, which means that this artist has both given permission for the use of their artwork and is being fairly compensated for it, which is really, really, really important to me, especially because art theft is kind of rampant in the crafting world. So I'm all about that. And then over here, you guys, we have a set of, these are pre-cut stickers, it looks like. Um, so that's gonna be really convenient for kitting up purposes, because I'm gonna take these diamonds and put them into storage containers. And then I'll be able to put these labels on the storage containers. And then all I'll have to do is look at the symbol on the canvas, find it on the storage container, and then I'll have my color that I need. They use the DMC color code, which is what most diamond painting companies use. It comes from the DMC brand of floss over here. And then we have, it looks like mostly alphanumeric, actually entirely alphanumeric symbols. So, but I noticed you guys that they do skip ones that would risk looking too similar. Like we don't have eight and B, we just have eight. We don't have zero and the letter O, we just have zero. So props to Robin for thinking of that. 40 colors in total. It doesn't come with any charted special drills, uh, but like I said, uh, they do include some special drill swap options like I showed you just a little bit ago. So let me take you on a little tour of the canvas. The edges are wanting to curl up. This happens with most of my canvases, not just from Distracted by Diamonds. So I'm just gonna roll it back the opposite direction. Distracted by Diamonds canvases are made with poured glue, so it's safe to do this, you guys. This will help it lay flat. You could also put it under a mattress or something heavy if you wanted, but that did the trick. So let's take a, let's take a little tour here. There's their branding at the top, Distracted by Diamonds, their cute logo. The edges, you guys, they're scalloped, they're finished. I haven't had any fraying on any of my completed Distracted by Diamonds canvases. Um, the backing is, it's a pretty stiff material, but it's not like the the cheap stiff material. It, it has some weight and kind of a more premium feel to it, but it's a little more rough to the touch, or I suppose just kind of like, it's not soft, <laughs> uh, but it feels like a nice weight, which is, so no complaints here. I've worked on canvases from Distracted by Diamonds that have been made with this material and they've held diamonds beautifully. Here at the top right, we have the dimensions and then the schematic with the thumbnail. And here we've got like this legend as well. <coughs> Excuse me. We have the same legend over here at the bottom left. And then of course, here's the title, Snapdragon Sprite. 
copyright. It's licensed, like I said, by Mitzi Sato Weave. 2023. This is a brand new release, I believe. So uh, it does come with round diamonds. So if we look at the drill field up close, you can see there are some really faint kind of guide circles to help you place your diamonds really centered and really well. And like I mentioned, it's entirely alphanumeric symbols, so just letters and numbers. But the printing is really clear, which is good. Some color blocking going on actually. Color blocking is like in this area, we have all of this symbol, this letter L. Uh, I'll be able to use my multi-placer in that section and have that color in my tray for a while, which is, is nice. Those areas tend to go a little bit more quickly. We have some color blocking in the background as well, though there, there are some other colors kind of mixed in there, that letter E along with that letter R. And then we of course have some areas with some confetti because Distracted by Diamonds, I feel like tends to have a little bit softer touch to their rendering. Which I really love. It can suit a lot of artwork beautifully. Uh, and so in here, you've got a little bit more confetti, which is more color changes in a small area. You tend to get a little bit more detail and, and depending on how it's done, it can kind of soften the look of the, of the rendering, which can be really nice. Look at this baby dragon sleeping face. I can't, it's so sweet. It's so cute. I love these pretty pinks and oranges and peaches and corals in the Snapdragon petals. And I would be really curious to see how this would work up with the special drill enhancements that she recommended. The background is not pure color blocking. So we do have the R and the E both. Um, the printing is clear, but just so you know, they look similar. They're the same kind of color aqua. <laughs> That'll give it a little bit of more of that watercolor vibe. Oh, you can see it even better from pulled back. Yeah, the original artwork has that really soft watercolory background. So that completely suits it. I like what I'm seeing of the rendering so far. Honestly, you guys, it looks good. Uh, let's do a really quick measurement and see where we're at. It says 52 by 78. So I'm just measuring the drill field. Uh, we're at just a, a little bit shy of 78 centimeters, but I get you guys, I give companies a centimeter or two of wiggle room. Um, and then we're at 52 on the nose. So I am going to call that true to size. I'm definitely going to call that true to size. <gasps> She's so cute, you guys. <laughs> it's so sweet. Like I said, this artist has several pieces with Distracted by Diamonds that are similar and that they're based on florals and have these cute like little nymphs or sprites. Uh, let's take a look at these diamonds. So uh, this is kind of a model number that you'll also find at the top right corner of your canvas. So if you store the canvas and diamonds outside of the box they came in and separate from one another, you can match it up easily that way. The colors might also give it away a little bit as well. But let's, let's take a look at these diamonds up close. Right. So right off the bat, these pinks and aquas and these corals, just a uh, happy, happy spring and summer colors to me. So uh, the top number you're seeing here, this is the DMC color code 892. The bottom number is going to be the weight. So these are measured out by weight in either ounces or grams. Uh, so you can either take those sticker labels and put them directly on these resealable bags if you prefer to work out of resealable bags. Or if you're like me, uh, I prefer to work out of storage containers because I'm a bit klutzy. I also find resealable bags to be a bit static prone. So I'm gonna put these in bead storage containers or diamond storage containers and put the stickers directly on those containers instead. But you have options. It's nice that you have options. Three bags of this 964 color. I bet that's in the background. And then we do have some darker colors mixed in here that are gonna give us some of that that shading and depth because we do have some some shadows and a little bit of you know line work to do. These are really sparkly. They are round diamonds, like I said. I don't think this was one of the kits that she offered in both drill shapes, at least not for the moment. Sometimes she uh, they'll go back and they'll add in the option, like they'll go ahead and get it in squares as well. But like I said, when I bought it, at least the listing that I saw it was only offered in round diamonds. From what I'm seeing of these diamonds, they look like nice quality. 
They have, so, you know, a nice faceting to them. I'm not seeing a lot of excess trash or anything like that. They look pretty, you know, uniform in size and shape. And looking at them, I don't, I don't really see any that have like those concave scooped out bases, which is good. Because if you try to place those, they won't stick to your canvas because there's not like a whole flat edge to kind of lay there. But those diamonds look good and the colors look good. So I bet this is going to be really pretty. Pretty darker colors. Greens, teals, and then some browns and beiges. So love the colors kind of pack that up more neatly later but I love it you guys this is snapdragon sprite no ABs or special drills to go over since I didn't get the whole pack of special drill swaps I'm not going to go through all that right now but just know that that option is available to you and is often available with with her kits so I like that she, that distracted by diamonds does have that so you can decide for yourself like okay do I want to add in some special drills or not and you also have that guidance to go off of as well uh, so I really appreciate that. The one last thing that I want to do is since I obviously I'm not quite fitting this all in frame, I'm going to put up a picture for you guys here on the screen so you can see the whole canvas and all her beauty. But uh, thank you to Distracted by Diamonds for licensing this really, really adorable artwork. Like I said, it just tugged on my heartstrings between the adorable baby dragon and the fact that it's snapdragons, which like I said, those are my favorite, favorite, favorite flower growing up. My parents always had them planted in our garden and I was just fascinated by them i just i knew this had to be mine so um you guys i'll link to this below uh the distracted by diamonds and patty wax shop usually restocks a couple of times a day i think that they put in their shop announcements what those times are um at the time of this going up they depending on when i post this they may still be on vacation so you can sign up for um a notification to, to to get an email when they're back uh but yeah you guys definitely go check out what they have to offer i am hoping that maybe i can work on this soon it's been a little while since i worked on a distracted by diamonds kit and this one is just calling my name so uh thanks for watching i hope this was helpful and fun for you guys to get to see an unboxing from distracted by diamonds and um let me know if you have any questions or what you think down in the comment section below i hope that you guys are having an amazing day be sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with my future diamond painting content and i'll talk to you guys again real soon all right have a great one bye